Hey guys, it is the 24th of October. My name is Jess, this is the GameSpot News Show, and we're back with the couch. First up today, a new Battlefield 1 update has arrived, and here's what's changed. The update primarily implements a bunch of bug fixes to both the single and multiplayer to help remedy various glitches and crashes. There's one particular error which caused incorrect class ranks to display, which has now been rectified, so you may find yourself at a lower class rank than when you played before the update. If that is the case, you technically haven't lost a rank, it was just previously displaying incorrectly. If you did unlock anything while mistakenly at a higher rank, you won't lose access to it as a result of the adjustment. You can find the full patch notes in our story on site. Speaking of updates, Pokemon Go has seen quite a few changes today as well. The latest update has added new egg patterns and notification features, among other things. Now you'll see different colored eggs depending on the distance required to hatch them. Each Pokemon's info screen has been updated to include Pokemon type icons, while the game will also alert you to when the Pokemon Go Plus battery gets low. If you, like me, have briefly forgotten what the hell the Pokemon Go Plus is, it's that little plastic widget that tells you when Pokemon are nearby. Just like the Battlefield 1 patch notes, you can check out the full details of the update in our story on site. The Pokemon Go news doesn't stop there though, because an in-game event for Halloween is on the way. Between October 26 and November 1, you'll find more spooky Pokemon out and about, like a Drowsy, Ghastly, Gengar, and Haunter. Oh, and Zubat, because if there's one thing Pokemon Go really needed, it's more Zubats. You can also earn extra Pokemon candy during the event, so if you were thinking of diving back in, now's the best time. Finally, Titanfall 2 for PS4 Pro will not have native 4K. While the game will support Sony's PlayStation 4 Pro, it won't be rendering at native 4K. Producer Drew McCoy told Aussie gaming publication Survivor, it's not native 4K. And I'd be surprised if anyone saw native 4K with AAA level games anytime soon. It just takes so much processing power. It's unbelievable amounts of just GPU grunt to do that in native 4K. In September, PlayStation president Andrew House said that the majority of games for PS4 Pro will be upscaled to 4K instead of running natively at that resolution. McCoy added that the PS4 Pro will allow Titanfall 2 to hold its 60fps frame rate more steadily, while achieving a higher resolution. He explained, because we also made the PC version, we have some knobs we can tweak, so we just spent some time making sure it still runs well and looks good on PS4 Pro. Be sure to let me know your thoughts on today's stories. Head to GameSpot for stories on Hyrule Warriors and Watch Dogs 2, and I'll see you again tomorrow.